What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a very special video. I did not think I was going to be making this video for another two months? Yeah, two months. In two months, Felix the Shark comes out. Uh, 1st of February 2022. We have got summaries of the stories in 2021. That's insane to me. That's insane, a whole two months early. So today I'm going to be going through the first story, Felix the Shark. Uh, I know the second story is extremely interesting, so I might go through that in another video if you guys want me to, but Felix the Shark is also very interesting, and I just want to go through this because it's a little bit of fun, you know? Um, and also a lot of people might be missing this, a lot of people want to read Felix the Shark but just can't until February, so um, I decided I'm going to share the leaks this time. Uh, I've read the leaks. Um, I don't usually. I usually wait until the release of the book and then make audiobooks on them with my full reaction, but I'm not going to this time. Um, I'm just going ahead with the leaks. Of course, I will still have audiobooks in February when the full book comes out. So, here is a quick summary of Felix the Shark. So, uh, I'm going to read this from Cuban Fancy, by the way. Thank you so much for putting a summary in my Discord server. I really appreciate it. I hope you don't mind me taking it. <laughs> um, so Dirk, an adult, I don't even, is that how you say Dirk? D Dirk is, I, I never actually said it out loud, that doesn't sound like a name, Dirk. Dirk, an adult, reminisces about Freddy's with his group of friends. They all bond over the familiar characters of Freddy, Bonnie Chica and Foxy. However, when Dirk brings up the character Felix the Shark, his friends are confused. He recalls specific details that Felix the Shark was kept in an aquarium-like large tube around the pizzeria that visitors could enter and swim along within, but his friends believe he is making it up. This is very interesting to me. It's like a lost kind of media thing, and I really like, um, like watching YouTube videos about lost media. I think the YouTube channel is Blame It On George. Um, there was a specific video about a clock man, I believe, and it was comp it was lost in media. Someone on the internet was like, hey, I remember this really creepy cartoon from ages, from my childhood so long ago, and I cannot find the episode anywhere, but it was really creepy. There was this clock man, and he came through the wall or something, and took a kid or something um, <laughs> and then people on the internet actually found it um, which is insane and it gives me those sort of vibes and that's why I love this story so much oh it's a good time to actually say because I haven't said it yet that just remember that these are scrapped stories so the canonicity is very weird here um, I don't really know because these I, I, I guess these were written to be canon, but were then scrapped, so that, does that mean that they are canon, or... I don't know. Anyway, determined to prove that his memory of Felix was true, Dirk visits multiple Freddy's locations in many states to find the one that used to have Felix. Finally, in a near abandoned town, he finds a few people who remember Felix, all of whom had terrible nightmares concerning him. This is very clearly a Fazbear Fright story, I must say that. Um, we have an animatronic, we have people who fear him, and um, kind of nightmares. He investigates the town for clues and learns that the pizzeria was built by Aaron Sanders. According to rumours, after his son died in a shark accident, he obsessively focused on building a shark animatronic for his pizzeria. Dirk contacts his daughter for information who only gives him a book she wrote and the pendant she was wearing. So this is all very strange. It's kind of like a, a, a goose chase, a wild goose chase, kind of leaving breadcrumbs for you to, I don't know, it's, it's weird. And I, I kind of, I kind of get why this was a scrapped story. Although it is so sick, like I love the, I love the fact that there was a lost shark in one of these Freddy's pizzerias, but nobody kind of remembers it apart from a few people. Um, I really love that idea, but I feel like a lot of this is literally just a treasure hunt for nothing, really. Like, oh, I I'm looking for an, an old Felix the Shark. Like, why are you looking for a shark animatronic? J just for you, just to get your childhood memories back? And I will say, if he does end up finding Felix the Shark and being eaten by Felix the Shark, none of this was worth it. 
I'm pretty sure I read, because I, I read in the live book reading that the person did who, who got the book early. Um, I believe a lot of people said that the teeth were really, really sharp and it could almost like decapitate someone uh, as quick as that. And so like, why would you want to go find this thing? Um, even if it is just, even if it is for a childhood memory, just to like, um, like nostalgia value, like e even if it is just that, like why? <laughs> anyway, the book, The Dogged Dogmatist, what? Is about a man who eats... Let's start that again. The book, The Dogged Dogmatist, is about a man who meets uncertain doom after trying to find a shark croc hybrid. Clues in the book lead Dirk to a water park where, after using the pendant on the suspicious indent on the ground, unlocks a hidden section of the park. See, this is very, this is all very, um, like, treasure hunty, um, kind of cliche. Like, why does the pendant open up a part of the park? It kind of doesn't make sense. Also, why isn't Dirk scared of the shark? Like, other people are, are really scared of the shark. They give him nightmares. And Dirk, he's he's heard that someone's son was, was killed by a shark. He's heard that a man in a book meets an uncertain doom after trying to find a shark croc hybrid. Why is he not scared of sharks? And why is he not like, no, 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 I'm not going to the shark because I might get killed by it. Dirk follows the maze of pipes into the room with Felix the shark. He attacks a breathing hose to himself and opens the hatch, closing it behind him. There, an abandoned and run down Felix animatronic chases him menacingly around the tank. Why? Why are you going in the tank? It's I don't get it. I don't get it. And I also feel like this is part of the, of the um, of why, uh, part of the reason why this was a scrap story as well, because I don't really see his motivation in all of this. You go to a water park to find a shark, you find the shark, you go in the tank with the shark, you get eaten by the shark. Oh yeah, I should probably get to that part. Dirk tries to open the hatch but realises he made a critical error. The hatch could only be opened from the outside. Nice one. Dirk is doomed to be forever trapped inside of the tank as Felix chases him around. I really like that ending. Um, it's it's not blatantly like Felix eats Dirk. It's like Dirk is now part of the tank. Like he he he's never really found because this is an abandoned place, and he is trapped in this tank to forever be swimming around just like Felix the shark had been for all those years. I really like that ending. But apart from that, it is kind of a bland, standard, you know, this animatronic is possessed story, um, a treasure hunt. This is why it was scrapped, I think. Don't get me wrong, it was a good story, and I feel like it's a lot better than some of the other Fazbear Fright stories as well. But I also feel like we've had enough of these kind of stories, and um, yeah. I, I, th I think it was good though, I think it was good. Now, as I say, the other story that I have read, which is The Scoop, which already has a crazy title, um, that one is insane for numerous reasons, and it's also got very, um, a lot of people really, really like it, but all the other people really, really dislike it, so it, it's it's very, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like Marmite. So I'm really excited to cover that one, um, when I get round to it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.